Live people ignore the strange and unusual. I myself am strange and unusual. Good morning, good morning. It's a happy, happy day. And so, says Shorty as well. Yes. So, um, it's actually Wednesday afternoon for me right now. Just got off work. Trying to do some housework. Who likes that? But, anyway, um, I appreciate everybody watching the post in the morning. Y'all seem to be liking it pretty good. I've noticed in the analytics that only about five or six minutes is being watched out of the video. So I'm not sure which parts that y'all like more than others. But um, I'm probably going to leave the ghost story out this time. And um, if y'all do like the ghost story and the oracle cards let me know below um otherwise i'm gonna assume that those are the parts that you would rather not watch so got the air on got the clothes washing and just been playing with the dolls for a little bit so now it's time for the segment say what in the news today in springfield colorado according to ap news May 15th, 2023, a driver who was pulled over for speeding tried to switch places with his dog. Yeah, his dog. Because, you know, dogs always drive cars. So he tried to switch places with his dogs to avoid arrest, said the police in Colorado. An officer watched him maneuvering inside the car before he got out on the passenger side on Saturday night in Springfield, a town of about 1,300 people. On the state's eastern plains, police said in a Facebook post on Sunday. The man he said he was not behind the wheel and clearly showed signs of being drunk, police said. He ran from the officer when asked about how much he had to drink and was caught within 20 yards. After being taken to the hospital to be checked out, 
The man was arrested on suspicion of charges, including driving under the influence of alcohol and or drugs, and driving while ability impaired as well as for previous warrants for his arrest. So that's the end of the article. But uh, I would only imagine that uh, his dog's probably not speaking to him anymore since uh, he accused him of, uh, you know, him being the one driving erratically behind the wheel. Let me know what you think below. Do you let your dog drive? <laughs> Who are you barking about? Huh? Who are you barking about? I don't know, baby. Won't you get your baby and get back in your bed? Huh? Get your baby and get back in your bed. Get back in your bed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do you think he's silly? Do you think he's silly? Give kisses. Do you think Hopper's silly? Huh? Do you think Hopper's silly? Shorty sits right here beside me on this here recliner. All time. He is my warm puppy. He turned 15 Sunday on Mother's Day. Yes, he did. And he's blind in one eye now. Oh, somebody's getting jealous. He come up under my arm. He's like, don't mess with Shorty. You're only supposed to pay attention to me. I'm the only one. <laughs> Oof. So today for story time, I'm going to share the story about um, um, the time that I got on the wrong school bus, so this is pretty ridiculous of me, telling off on myself, but anyway. There was a problem with the buses that day. I don't remember what was going on. This was at this little elementary school we went to <clears throat> when we lived in Tennessee. And the um, principal said, <sighs> it just, the principal says, some of you are going to be riding different buses today. So what they did at this school is they would announce your school bus and that's when you left your classroom and you walked out back to board the bus. Well, he called out my bus number, but the way he said it made me think that people that normally ride in this bus will ride in this bus today, the way he called it out. So I got on the other bus. Oh, so, um, yeah, it took a little bit of us riding around places I ain't never seen in my life. And you're talking about somebody that's like, um, in the first grade. So, I was terrified and I just started quietly crying to myself because I didn't know what to do. I knew I was in trouble and I was scared more afraid of of getting in trouble for getting on the wrong bus than anything else. So uh, a third grader, to me she was a, a, a big grown up girl. She was a third grader. She noticed I was crying and she came and was like, what's wrong honey? And I said, I got on the wrong bus. So she went to tell the bus driver. Now the bus driver was mean. I mean, mean, and uh, it was uh, a woman, and she was just hateful about the whole thing, because it was going to put her having to go out of her way to carry me home, and, 
and she was just ugly about it and if it weren't for that little girl being nice I would have probably had to come apart well, the way we got let out was we were living in a new neighborhood and we, the bus would always let us out at the end of the street and then we'd walk up the street to go home. So I said, well, our bus just normally drops us off here and we walk. She was fine with that. Get the hell off my bus, you know what I'm saying? So I get off the bus and I'm walking home. Nobody notices me. It's quiet. And uh, I get up to my driveway. And my poor little mama, she's got a lamp on. And she's looking out the window like this. And she sees me coming. <gasps> and she's running out the door to hug me and this, that. And I'm like, dang, she ain't been this nice to me in a hot minute. And that's when I realized all of the mess that I had caused. I didn't get off the school bus. My sister did. She made it home. I guess my sister was in school then. I can't remember. But anyway, ever you know, everybody else got off the bus. Everybody was good to go. Jennifer probably wasn't. If I was in the first grade, Jennifer wouldn't have been in school yet. But anyway, I digress. So, um, she called the principal. She had the whole school tour up. The principal himself was in his car riding the streets around Harrison, Tennessee, looking for me. He didn't know if I got kidnapped. They didn't know what happened. Uh, they just know I didn't make it home. And what ended up happening was that bus driver uh, of the bus I had gotten onto actually ended up getting in trouble for not immediately turning around and carrying me back to the school. So what, because what it ended up happening was I had to wait until she nearly dropped everybody off before she dropped me off and uh, I don't know or she got closer to the area or something like that so I didn't mean for that lady to get in trouble but it's fine with me because you were mean you were a bee don't do a little kid like that but I get inside mother had cleaned up my room she had had everything looking nice I reckon that's all she could do to keep her mind <laughs> occupied poor thing she was in there just cleaning and straightening up and whatever else she could do to... Then I guess she got done. She couldn't do nothing else but look out the window. And then see her kid come up the road. Ah! She probably paid herself. Probably shocked her so much. But, yep. That was the story of my dumb mistake of getting confused and getting on the wrong school bus. Well, okay, you guys. Um, I guess that's about all I've got today. Um, we'll see about some other things I might can post uh, on some other days. I won't be posting on the weekends because the weekends are time for me and uh, my family and maybe to do some ghost hunting videos. Usually I have to do those on the weekends. I thought about going somewhere today because I did get off early on Wednesdays, but my house, um, I'm not even going to show y'all my dishes. Mm -mm. I don't have dishwasher. It's hand washing over here, so, you know, you can only imagine. I really need to work on my dishes, so, I don't know. I'm just going to hope and pray it won't rain this weekend because I want to go to that cemetery I was telling y'all about. So I know uh, Rusty Hawkum wanted to go, and I don't know if he'll still want to go this week or not, but I might ask him and see. So, my little doggies are asleep. They're so durable. I hate to leave my doggies anyway, because they're so cute. But I love you guys so much. You are wonderful, you are beautiful, and don't let anybody make you think otherwise. And have a wonderful day. And if you need some new coffee cups, I've got a new merch store. I kind of swapped over from Zazzle back to Teespring. Um, Y'all could probably see some of the stuff below. Um, and some of you asked about snapback hats and stuff for the guys. I have them now. <gasps> so... 
Yeah, I got a little, I've, I've tried to, let's say, try to do some funny shirts, you know, like, I'm only here for the booze, <laughs> and uh, some other, I can't remember what the other uh, shirts say, but I try to do some funny stuff, so, uh, yeah, uh, anyway, if you've got a really funny idea for a shirt you'd like to see me add to the merch store, or a coffee cup that you think you would like to see a saying on a coffee cup, just let me know down below in the comments, and I will see what I can do. Ah, oh, so this will be Thursday's post, and when I next see you, it will be Friday. Friday. <laughs> so, peace and love you guys so much. Have an awesome day. Such a beautiful day for your beautiful face. I don't know what I'm saying. What the fuck? Okay, my clothes are done. Uh, have a beautiful, wonderful day, my lovelies. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>